Hey there, welcome to this new security tutorial. So today we're going to see together what's a bad redirection when it comes to securing admin dashboards or private pages. And we'll see together how you can build proper 302 redirection. So I just created a sample page where, uh, so this page is called admin and no one except myself and the admin are supposed to be able to access it. So uh, what I created is a index page uh, to try this out and try to load that admin page and see if we can accept, access it or not. And uh, so that's the page you're seeing here. So in the workflow here, I've done what most people do when it comes to securing dashboards. Uh, I added uh, an event, which is the do when a condition is true. And I check the current user's role. Uh, and if it's not admin, so if this user is not an admin, I just send him back to the index page. So. I'm here right now on my index page. Let's see what happens if I try to go to that admin page. So if I click, the page gets loaded and then I'm redirected uh, to my index page. Let's open the inspector, the Chrome uh, dev tools to understand a little bit what's happening. So I just filter here with by document because otherwise everything will get loud here and, and I don't want it. Let's clean my history and uh, keep the, the history. Um, so let's try now to click here one more time. So I click and then I'm redirected, right? So this is a request for fetching my admin page where I'm not supposed to be able to access because right now I'm not logged in. So I'm not supposed to be to access it. And that's the index page I'm on, I'm on right now. So if I look a little bit more in that admin request here, I can see the result here. The code is 200. 200 is an HTTP code, which means success. Basically, everything's good, everything's working. So the problem here is that we don't want the content of this page to be downloaded. We don't want it to be a success. So what we'll have to do is to find a way to redirect the user even before the page is loaded. Because what's happening here is that we send the user to that page, the contents get, get, get downloaded, Oh, and at some point it's written that if this user is not an admin, he should be redirected to the index page. But we would like this condition to appear on the top of our execution and to be the first thing to be evaluated if it's uh, an admin or not. And if it's not an admin, before downloading anything else, just send him back to the index page. So how could we do that? We have to use one of those three events. User is logged in, user is logged out, or page is loaded all the other events, all that, all these related to elements will be handled and executed once the page is downloaded. So when it's too late. So what we want to do is just delete this here and we'll do it with the pages loaded. It works also with uh, users logged in and users logged out. So that's the first gold rule. Just use one of those three events. So here now we can do our check current user role is not admin. All right, we'll, I put it red so that everyone knows it's for redirection. And in this case, I will do navigation, go to page and send him back to index. Okay, let's try now what's happening. Let's see what's happening in my tab here. Let me clean the history here so that we are clean here. Okay, let's now click this page. See, we, won't, we don't even see it appearing right now. And we also don't see it here. So this means everything good. See the admin page isn't even downloaded here, which means before everything else has been downloaded, the content of the page, we've been already redirected. That's called a 302 redirection. And it basically means that we're not allowed to access this page or that the, the, the location of this page is on another page right now. So. That's the way you should do it. There are also a few several uh, rules that you should follow. The first one is to not use custom events because custom events have to be downloaded and executed. And once they're being executed, it means all the rest of the page has already been downloaded. So let's try it out and see what happens if I create a redirect custom event. Um, and I will remember, uh, remove, sorry, my condition here and just when the page is loaded, execute my redirect event. This one will not be red anymore, but this one will be red now. 
All right. And here we'll do a go to page index if the current user role is not admin. All right. Let's see what happens now. All right. Let me clean this and click that button one more time. We see the page and we get redirected to index and we can even see here the admin page has a 200 redirection code. So that's not good. Do not use custom events. Another thing which is really important, you should never rely on elements that are on the page to define your condition if you should redirect or not redirect your user. That makes a lot of sense because if you're waiting for, for example, let's add, um, okay, here, a group that we call um, should redirect, that will be a yes or a no, and let's put it to yes, right? When, okay, so let's go back to pages, to pages loaded here, and let's do go to page here, index, only when group should redirect yes, no, is yes, right? So this condition will always be true because the value of my group here is yes. And so when this group value is yes, we should be redirected to index, right? Let's see what happens. Let me clean this so that we see everything. We see the page and we don't see it anymore. That's bad. The admin page has been unloaded and that's not secure. Why is this happening? because you're relying on an element that's on the page and that needs to be downloaded in order to evaluate the condition. Before the page is loaded, Bubble cannot know if this is true or false. It needs to download the page and to attribute the value yes to that group. And we want to apply the redirect before even all the things are downloaded, right? Okay, so I think um, one more thing I have to tell you here your pages loaded here even should only have one go to page action. If you're setting states, setting uh, or defining that de sending data to groups or anything, it won't work. You only need things that can be executed before the page is loaded. I think that's it. You have everything. You have all the keys to build secure admin dashboard. I hope it helped. Bye bye.